So, I'll count down for you, Brad. Sounds good. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I started the timer a little late, but that's fine. This is Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows, the DLC to the very popular, I believe, 2016 game, Shovel Knight. Um, then just called Shovel Knight, now called Shovel Knight Treasure Trove, because it has all four of these games for free um, inside of the base package, which is great. As of, as of now, it's not free. As of now, all of it's like 40 bucks. So. Well, all of it is 40 you bucks, but... It, you gotten it six years ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, free as in these three campaigns along with Shovel Knight, which is pretty crazy. There's a lot of content, even for a $40 game. Um, yeah. Not not to mention that there's also like a Super Smash Bros. S fighting game. Yeah, there's a a fifth thing called Showdown. It's a little bit of a mini game, but it's also pretty. It's a pretty decent it, ROM it, for it, it five or six hours. Menu, so it's like something. Yeah, it's it's definitely something to do, and it isn't too bad. Um, but this is the second campaign. This was the first part of the Kickstarter rewards. Um, has Plague Knight. Uh, who controls pretty differently to Shovel Knight, I would say. Um, he has a double jump, first of all. He also has a burst, which makes him go way faster than Shovel Knight does. Um, and that causes a lot of Shovel Knight players, um, Shovel Knight speedrunners especially, to go, wow, this guy kind of doesn't control how I like Shovel Knight to control, and they don't play him as much. So, ooh, I got the burst in the, uh, the BK room. I, I wanted to, but I didn't. That's a that's a glitch that was patched out for the most part, except you can still do it on uh, one frame going in and out right. of the boss room. Um, the planes was so bad that I'm still two seconds behind, but um, it was still... Yeah, that was a good boss fight just because of that, that glitch there. You can input the burst, which is the thing that makes me go forward, as you've been seeing. Um, on one frame before or one frame after, and you can only do it on the one frame after uh, in that room to actually launch you further. There are other rooms where that isn't the case, but that's one of the rooms where you can only do the one after. We kind of glossed over Black Knight because thankfully he died pretty fast, but he can be really annoying because he has like iframes and stuff. So yeah. whenever time you hit him, he like gets knocked back and that's annoying. Yeah, one of two bosses in this run with iframes. The other being his blue counterpart, Shovel Knight, uh, who's only a boss here. Not a fun one, but he's a boss. Yeah, we'll get to him. We will definitely get to him. He's one of the most polarizing parts of the run. <laughs> oh, and messed up a little bit. Oops. Here we have King Knight, uh, the boy. Just got his DLC and campaign in like late 2019, I think. Um, my my time is is bad my in, internal calendar, but I think late 2019 was when we got King Knight's campaign. Okay, it was around like December. Yeah. Um. And his level is pretty straightforward. It's basically tutorial it's too. Simple. Um. You learn a couple things about uh about plague. Specifically, you're gonna see it a lot more here than you have anywhere else. Um. So far, damage boost best friend. You like them a lot. Uh, they make you go faster. They can perch you up on the things. Um, they're very central throughout the run. You only do them a couple times here, but you will see them more and more as the run progresses. See, so you can do one here and uh, stagger your burst timing just a bit. And you can run into ba uh, rats if you want to, but that's not faster. There's also a couple instances in this level, which we'll be seeing much more later, uh, specifically Shovel Knight's level of uh, timers that go off uh, as soon as the stage starts. That little swinging pendulum guy there that we saw was uh, was based on a timer that starts when the level starts, and that's pretty important for this run as well. Um, just small little things, but especially Explodatorium. This is King Knight. Uh, pretty simple fight. You stagger your bombs a bit there, so you hit him as many times as possible against the wall. Ooh, perfect fight. Oh, yeah, overall, he's like the stage. He, it's pretty simple. You just want to throw bombs at him. There's a little bit of like, a burst thing, and you want to get him to run up against the wall at some point, but it's like not terribly complicated. No, it's 
it's a pretty easy stage um, when you're playing casually or speedrunning. It's not too bad. I still wasted eight seconds, mind you, but it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Red, I'm sure, with the amazing, fantastical King Knight. Yeah. And here we go with the Spectre. Spectre, Spectre is the first real level. Yeah, it's, being... it's, a, it's very uh, annoying. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's the first level that like kind of takes you back a little bit and it tells you, oh, you need to learn this, this, and this before Ooh, you can epic. actually. I got fast. Jeremiah. So the first frog there, we've called him Jeremiah because uh, of the song, but he's really annoying because like maybe thirty or forty percent of the time, a lot do the little electric zappy thing where he'll just like get hit. And that happened to me. So it Ooh. didn't happen to me, so I must be ahead. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, those frogs. We'll also see more of those frogs later in this level. But uh, there were there were actually patches in the King Knight update to make them just a little more bearable. Um, and we'll see it in the dark room coming up here in just a bit. Uh, another damage boost here. You damage boost off that frog. That's the fastest way to get through. This is the uh, frog room. It's one of the more annoying state, uh, more annoying screens because they'll just like do whatever they want. Actually, now you can kill them with a the skull thing, but there I still kind of got pretty bad RNG, so too good. I also got. Either way, this, that second frog is pretty terrible. Um, he can just meme you whenever he wants. So okay, didn't mess up anything else though. So there's all yeah. There's also. For, uh, for newer runners especially. Um, and this is one of the stages with casuals as well, where they kind of get turned off from Plague Knight, because unless you know his mechanics really down pat, dark rooms are very, very scary, especially ones with like spikes, instant death all over the place, like that last one. Um, I think we'll go a little more into Plague oh, Knight's baby. advanced RG mechanics. Just in a bit. Uh, and so Spectre is kind of a, an irritating boss, especially for like Shovel Knight runs, because no matter what, he's going to choose one of the corners. And if he goes to the opposite corner on his second teleport, that loses like six seconds. But for yep. Plague Knight, you can do this pretty tricky kill where uh, you have him not teleport the second time. Mm -hmm. I got that, so saved a little time. Yep. He saved a little time. I got the bad RNG, so I didn't save a little time, but. That's the nature of things. Uh, the luck is not very large in this game, but it it nickel and dimes you if you yeah. keep getting the poor stuff. We're about to hit probably the biggest source of one of the at least one of the biggest sources of RNG here. So hopefully we get that over as soon as possible. Uh, which part are you talking about, bro? A blue guy. Blue guy? That's an RNG though. Well, I guess anchor. I don't know. We'll get yeah. to him when we get to him. You can introduce it because I think you're ahead. Yeah. So, uh, Explodatorium is also, this is the boss, very annoying because you got a, not not one but at least two cycles that start when you start when you start the stage. Yep. So you got the oops, I messed that up. So you'll see pretty soon I'm messing up. So you have soon both. Enough, you have both the purple vats, which we'll see in a yeah. bit, and you also have the alternating flame pillars, which you'll also see in just a tiny bit. Um, both of them very important to get on the right cycle, so you go as fast to the stage as possible. And also, you need to get hit a certain amount of times, because the boss, you need to be at two health bubbles or below, um, to go as fast as can be. Oh god, oh, I'm, I'm messing up. Yeah, I, I kind of messed up so that I ended up just being exactly one cycle behind, so it wasn't that bad, I guess. So here's the Alchemister. Pretty simple boss, because he stands there for like the entire fight because we kill him before he actually does anything yeah if, so, you're, if you're good uh, anyway yeah. we'll we'll see on my screen if that's what happens oh wow that was really unintelligent i i oh okay that was pretty bad uh oh that was a bad <laughs> was that a death you said uh, and I didn't get the checkpoint after Alchemizer. So. Oh boy. It's a race, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Not a race I expected to happen. 
Yeah, that uh, takes extra damage now, so I'm gonna get hit here a little bit. Yeah, you need to be at two health bubbles or below, so dying anywhere means you're at full health, and your health strats are a little uh, off kilter. Yeah. What I meant by saying that I didn't know this was going to be a real race is, uh, Red Pan is significantly, it's not significantly higher on the board than me in terms of placing. I'm fifth place and he's first place. Um, but there's about two and a half minutes or so, uh, in between those times, two and a half to three minutes. So, so I was expecting to get romped, but I'm a little ahead for now. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts. This is Shovel Knight. This is the lock you do. Uh, this That's why you need to be at below 2 health. He can use a, a phase locket, um, and it grants him invincibility if you're at uh, 2 health bubbles or above, and you get right. hit to... I got I you get hit to start the um, the thing, so you have to be at 2 health bubbles when you get in there. And then that, stat, that lock should go just right. You just hold right and press the uh, attack button. Yeah. To do that, we usually uh, double bind attack to both RB and square. Uh, well, that's how I do it anyway, but you can do it to any buttons you want. Um, I think Brett has it on the C stick of his GameCube controller. Yeah, um, you, you probably heard a little bit there, just clacking around. And here's uh, the only route differential that both of us do. Um, we're going to mole first. Um, you might be saying, oh, I've seen a Shovel Knight run before. Or if you haven't, you should know. Usually you go to Treasure Knight first, um, and Plague Knight. But, we don't. Why? Because we played the 3DS version before, um, oh god, I died. Um, so the, the, there was the 3DS version right when Plague came out, and they implemented something, um, a little bit after Plague, where the on screen, you haven't been able to see them because we've been avoiding them, but there are like on on screen encounters on the map, um, just like Hammer Brothers and Super Mario Brothers 3. And usually, if you went Treasure Knight, they could get in your way and you would have to go through them. So if you went to Mole, you were mostly able to just avoid them um, on 3DS. So that's why we do it here. That wasn't a problem for most PC players, but for us it was, and we've kind of just kept it the whole way. It only wastes yeah. about a second, but it is a second, and you would think a world record runner wouldn't just be wasting a second for oh, a silly okay. reason. Technically it's not a second, technically it's .4, so it's not enough for me to care. Yeah. But you wouldn't think that's like how the, the world record holder views it, but it's just a it's just a comfort thing. Yeah. I also die on Beetle 1 frequently, so... I just, yeah, I died on Beetle 1, which is pretty crazy. I haven't in a while. <laughs> just gonna balance our deaths out here, that's all I'm doing. Here's Mole, probably the simplest fight in the game, because he kind of just same thing over and over again, and then he stands still for the rest of the fight. So just hit him a bunch while he's diving. Oh, I died again. Probably Jesus. Fight right there. We're, uh, it's not going well, I think. <laughs> um, and I'm like way behind on gold as well. Oh yeah. Overall, the gold route isn't like that tight. If you die too much, you probably have to reset the uh, stage. But I died twice, I'm... so we'll see. Yeah. I think for like I think you have a f when you do the route regularly, you have like a few grand of spare gold. Yeah, it's mostly to buy uh, uh, the sub weapon that we get. Um, that's more of an issue. Uh, the yeah. magic usually isn't, but the actual getting the sub weapon is, and actually going back to get the sub weapon takes a billion seconds. So you want to have enough gold um, as you're actually getting through there. <laughs> I'm not having the best run. But that's alright. Yeah. Here's treasure um, on bread screen. Treasure is a is a water level, and you would think, oh, treasure isn't fun, and you'd be right. But it's more fun than most water levels, um, because there's a the water mechanics with plague. You get to still go pretty fast, and like 
skip over a few things, and <laughs> it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's it's not bad at all. Pinnacles okay. here can be pretty tricky because you got to hit them in just the right spot while bursting, but you got it down. So just takes uh, doing it a bunch, then you get the yield positions down. Yeah. Uh, so uh... here is like every twenty fish. <laughs> um, so we have a little auto scroller here before we fight him, but uh, he's a notable source of RNG. He can get pretty high, and we don't want him to do that. So yeah. we want him to stay in the same place. We're a straight edge society here. Yeah. Oh boy. Fortunately, he mostly stayed in the same place for me, so I got a perfect fight. I've actually been having a decent treasure, which is pretty crazy. This level's kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, this level's pretty tricky. Kind of stuff that can go wrong. That, what? That like uh that uh, I burst in through a room that had like a lot of uh pink tentacles from an octopus and. That level, or that specific room that I went through was pretty darn tricky. If you burst like just a few frames too early or a few frames too late, you uh, you get hit by the tentacles and waste some time. Yeah. There are some like missile platforms you saw earlier that are technically on a global cycle, but they matter very little here, so it's basically best to just ignore them. Okay, two cycle uh, angler, fantastic. <laughs> So I'm coming up on treasure, which is another source of RNG, so we we want him to stay on the ground, so let's see if he does that. Yeah, um, actually coaxing him to stay on the ground is a little hard, but... Yeah. Fortunately, he uh, played nice with me, so... Yeah, usually you haven't played nice with you. Me, I'm not so lucky. Alright, so next up we have the crying slash buying slash dying machine, so... It's gonna be a real heap of fun if you can tell by the nicknames. It's it's not fun at all, just saying. Yeah. Um, we have probably, probably the worst global cycle coming up because um, you need to be like right on the money, otherwise you lose like four seconds due to fan cycle. So yeah, we're gonna see if I can make minimal mistakes. And by minimal, I mean like literally none. So that probably won't happen. You have to go. Yeah, it's zero mistakes and do everything like very optimally. Not task level, but just man, it's it's yeah. pretty crazy. Oh, I got low. Crazy that I got a good treasure. Yeah, same. <laughs> That's not pretty typical. Um, having him just stay in place almost the whole fight is not very common at all. Yeah. So it was good that I got that, and I do have enough money for uh, for the sub weapon. Why did I think I wouldn't have enough? You have way more than you need. Yeah. Um, Fortunately, I managed to recover my money from before, so my route is also going to work out. I'm going to get the magic a little bit early, because... Yeah, usually uh, you get it after Polar Knight, uh, but he's going to get it before, and it uh, saves about a second or so. Um, it's, a, it's a good yeah, thing to do, you but... You can get a faster Polar Knight fight. So yeah, you get a faster Polar Knight fight, but uh, the downside is that you have to go like a little bit out of your way uh, for some of the money, but it's it adds up to about a second, and... Polar uh, going faster saves more than that, so it's it's still a good thing to do if you can do it. Brett's like one of the only people that does it, though. Um, yeah, you got to go out of your way just a little bit. Yeah, and it but, feels uh, pretty awkward if you're used to the the rooms how they are. So, and he yeah, found this out mistake, like yeah. after like most people were playing Blake Knight, right? Um, you went for that what route after the tournament. Uh, you started yeah. doing that, and that was about after, uh, let's see if I can, yep, I got the cycle. You beat the cycle there if you can get past that cannonball, which is good. No, I did not, I just bonked right into it, so my health is actually kind of tricky now, so hopefully I don't get bombarded by Jawas, which are a problem coming up very soon. They can uh, basically fly around and yep. blow you wherever, so they don't even damage you, they just push you away, and those yep. can kill you. It's that, uh, that green guy. That, uh, that yeah, they're not fun. Okay. Man, I need a little bit more focus than I can give to commentary on this game. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. I almost I almost died in the staff room. <laughs> <laughs> I almost Never got catapulted into those spikes there by those fans. Because they're very yeah. high strength industrial fans, so Yeah, they're they're pretty 
pretty blowy or something. I don't know. Yeah, they're they're pretty crazy. Um, they have a lot of air friction, whatever that air means. Air friction. <laughs> you, you know, baby. And uh, yeah, they're mean. This is what he meant by the Java room. I, he probably already went through it. But uh, I almost died there, so you can tell they can be pretty crappy. Right, Gusty I'm fans. An epic safety strat. I'm not going to go for this fast cycle. Instead, I'm going to grab a checkpoint. Because uh, this room can be pretty dangerous if you want to actually go for the optimum. Oh, you're talking about one cycle. Yeah. yeah. One cycle is not very fun. I got it once in practice uh, after about five attempts. So I'm probably not going for it. <laughs> yeah, I did not go for it. I instead. Just, uh, <laughs> I, I wait, mean... if you're not going to go for it, I have to. I mean, I have to try. Let's see. This that is what we're talking dead. about with fan cycles. Uh, I got pretty, pretty caught on that one. And uh, your propeller can be a—it's an interesting fight. Let's see if I get it. Gonna fly away up there a little, and I'm gonna kill him. Nice. Well, that could be pretty tricky. Oh. You <laughs> around him Are you boxes. serious? I got stuck on the lip between the right spikes and the wall right before the exit oh i got the really hard part but i didn't do the easy part uh yeah, so sucks. that's what one cycle is supposed to look like but you're not supposed to get stuck um that's really hard to do just that first part of actually getting up top that top platform but not dying um so i did the hard part i swear Here's, uh, here's Black Knight 2. It's the second iteration of this guy. He has more health, so he can get away more. And he's more annoying, so let's see if he does that, which he probably will. Yeah, most likely. Um, you saw the stun lock that we did on BK1. It works the same on K2, except that it's tighter. Uh, the amount of positions that you can actually put him in that is way less. Right, it's, like, a little, it's like two or three. Die. It's like two or three pixels that you yeah. you have to stand in the right place. Even then, the, you have to throw the bombs with pretty high accuracy in terms of uh, frames. Yeah. So it's not a super fun fight. But yeah. uh, let's see if I can get it here. I'm pretty decent at it, so I'll see if I can get him as you're supposed to. I got it in practice. Um, I swear, I was really good in practice, and I'm just not good here because I'm on camera. It's not yeah. because I'm bad. That's the way it goes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not bad. Uh, I refuse to say so. Okay. Do that burst there. So here's I think I got it. Magic upgrades, but I'm gonna get some safety potions too with the music sheet I got I've collected. It. <laughs> so that's how that fight's supposed to go. I'm glad I got it. And my dogs are uh, doing their thing, so if that comes over the moon. Woo. Don't worry, the dogs are good. Yeah. We have the. <laughs> Just got reminded of Tolo's world record. Remember Tolo's world record that got put into the Guinness Book of World Records? Oh, yeah. Bread? His, uh, yeah, his epic Plague Knight Pet the Dog. Yeah. Run. Uh, Which, for those who are wondering, there is not a dog in Plague of Shadows. <laughs> There's not a single dog in this version Avengers. of the game. <laughs> it's uh, actually Inspector Knight, but uh, the Guinness Book of World Records thought, oh, it's actually in Plague Knight. So we're going yeah, to I don't, put it there. It's an interesting mistake to make, because the only way I could think of doing that is seeing Totlu and knowing he's a Plague Knight runner, but then seeing the video and not paying attention to it at all. So, I, I think see. they just quite literally looked at the uh, the category extension board, and they were like, oh, pet the dog percent, it's Tolu, it has to be Plague. Yeah. And like, it, it obviously really was... big <laughs> moves over there. It was... That's, I don't know, it's a pretty funny thing. And it's, uh, it's been printed, so... Yeah, it, was, it was on paper, so we have the documentation. We do have the documentation, and it's something that they can never run away from. Shoutouts to yeah. Guinness Book of World Records for being useless. Yeah. Anyway, this is Polar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's a, uh, a lot of damage boost. Oh, wow, I almost died. A lot of damage boost, a lot of spikes. You don't yep. want damage boost on the spikes, because that isn't faster. Yep. You do want a damage boost onto them, but you don't want a damage boost using them, which makes it uh, very, like, a scary level. Yeah. 
Yeah, this room especially, this last room is very scary because you need to do some damage boost and then burst like right above the spike so you don't break the blocks on accident, but then yep. not die. So I'm gonna try to get this kill. Mm. I'm not too far behind actually. Didn't really uh, get the kill at all, but well. Yeah, it's a it's a little bit of a risk reward thing. For yeah. what he's going for. Have full staff, it's basically easy just to go to the box hit bo boss hit box and spam, and then half of their health is gone. So yeah, it makes bosses nice. a lot easier. Staff of striking is basically just a melee attack that you can do up close, and then uh, they die fast. Which is also why we got the magic upgrade because we would like a lot more staff of striking. Oh, I, I guessed his uh, I guessed his direction wrong. But yeah, I also didn't do the fight very well. But that's about what it's supposed to look like. Red probably also showed about what it's supposed to look like. So it's okay. Yeah. I, got full, I got full staff early in hopes that I could kill him with this epic yellow strap, but it didn't work out. I just got the normal kill, so. Yep. So it didn't really save him too much time. That's all yeah. right. That's okay. It's perfectly fine. I have in my splits right now Magicist because I forget this at like almost every time. So I buy the yeah. magic here. It's right here. We're gonna be a, in Tinker next, and Tinker's a pretty straightforward stage. A couple of tricky parts, but overall, you just gotta watch out for the it's sign a, daggers right there. It's and... a pretty easy stage in relation yeah, it, to it, the other two. It's kind of like a cooldown stage. Yeah, like, it's, it's a cooldown before boss. Tower 1, because yeah. Tower 1's crazy. We'll, uh... Boss is also pretty easy, so that helps. Yeah. Wh so which, also in relation to Tower 1, is like a breath of fresh air. Try this auto scroller skip thing. Whoa! Oh wow! Okay, the fact that I made that is incredible because I wanted to land on the platform for safety and I missed the platform and I still got the fast one anyway. So that was interesting. <laughs> How do you do that? I don't know. I'm. Oops! I'm gonna die from the gears. Forget this turkey, so I don't die. Yeah, I would not recommend dying. Uh, very bad strat. Uh, if anyone yeah. doesn't know. Really easy to die. Uh, there might be games where deaths are make things go faster not in plague night uh every single death you see is not intentional you can have very fast deaths but they're not all they're, ne they're never faster so yeah oh uh, speaking of deaths yeah <laughs> <laughs> what did you do i died right before the semi-auto scroller as in oh. i literally hit the checkpoint and then i just died oh. so that was one of those very fast deaths uh, yeah. that we were talking about on average, a death will probably, like, if you die like Falco did, it'll probably cost you, like, 15 seconds. So, you know, overall not pretty, 15? but not poor. What do you mean 15? Yeah. I was in, like, the same room as the checkpoint. So, would you say, like, 10 or something? Yeah, something like 10. Um, not 15. 15's a little, uh, too high. Uh, here's Tinker 1. I say 1, because there's two of them. Let's see if I get this kill. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way! How smart Red, No. Why? Yeah, I got the bombs and everything, and it was just like, oh, he's probably on this side of the room. <laughs> Tinker 2, as you can see, he's a lot better, or a lot bigger, and uh, not really much stronger at all. In fact, he's probably easier, because I get to wail on him the entire time. Yeah, the second one is like, the second stuff. boss is actually much easier. Um, <laughs> first boss is very hard to get optimally, um, because in Shovel Knight you can just throw a mobile gear at him and he just dies, but in this one you have to hit him ten times, so yeah, it's pretty weird um, how they made that one harder. So, uh, we're coming up to Tower 1, which we mentioned earlier. It's pretty scary, a lot of scary things, scary boss, scary all around, so hopefully that doesn't go horribly. Man, that was not a good Tinker one. That's right. Just the cutscene of uh, Plague Knight gathering all the essences of the bosses he's killed to get his super nukes and he can propose to Mona. Yeah, yeah so. he gets the seven Chaos Emeralds, so he yeah. can go Super Saiyan and then propose to Girl. Uh, it's yeah. a really uh, deep story when you think about it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really heartbreaking. <laughs> I wouldn't. Why would it be heartbreaking? <laughs> uh, you mean, you mean heart wrenching, Brett? I guess so. <laughs> I don't. Want, I don't want to say spoilers, but the 
game does end in a happy ending. So. Yeah, there's a happy ending. No heartbreak the involved. The only there's heartbreak is that uh, the tower dies, which actually isn't heartbreak. Everyone's happy about that. Tower's not yeah, fun. Yeah. Um, you're seeing that on red screen right now. So it's a treacherous level. Lots of instant death, and lots of times where you have to get really close to it. It's where the uh, the instant death whisperer plague is. So here we're looking at these crusher things. It's gonna be a pretty tight cycle coming up soon, so let's see if I get it. But as for now, we're just sort of waiting for the things to go up and down. It's and not like, tight. What are you talking about? It's not hard. If you don't get him, Red, I'm gonna publicly shame you. Okay, well, it's it's not hard, but if you like mess up at all, you die. So yeah, that's scary. It's kind of like a uh, so, night it, so. cycle, oh, but uh, a lot better. So we have a couple of global cycles here. They matter a little bit. Unless you want to go for the super yolo strat, they don't really matter. Yeah, I'm not it's not it's not too bad at all. Um, you have the uh, the swinging platform in that uh, second room that you do have to have not close enough to where you can slip through the spikes or the uh, the spiked top and also the platform. But that's the only time it matters in this entire stage, yeah. really. I don't really need, because there's a pot there too that starts at the beginning of the level, but it's not really useful, so... Yeah, it's... There's not a ton of things you need to do, you just need to make sure you're not hitting spikes. Um, yeah. Which I think is pretty regular, no matter uh, if you have global cycles or not. Yeah. So here's Black Knight 3. He's probably the worst out of all of them, let's see how I do. Yep, uh... Red has his, uh, a fancy little trick going into the fight. His little setup. I also have a little setup. Uh, we'll see if either of us work. Fortunately, fortunately, my kill was fast enough so you couldn't tell what he was trying to do. But basically, at the beginning of the fight, he um, he's going to try to teleport away for about eight seconds. It's pretty annoying because you can't hit him during that time. He's just like you know, goofing off. Fortunately, if you if you hit him just right, that won't happen. So he's new that, goofy. he turns into the bird. By that point, he becomes a pretty easy target for the staff. Yeah. There's no real, like, you can do a stun lock, except it's, like, literally impossible and also isn't faster, so. Yeah, it's it's faster to, uh, skip his teleport and do the fight the regular way. Uh, here we are, Tower 2. Probably this, the, like, the, like, the most varying in, like, time loss that you can have without dying, because we have boss rush coming up soon. But yep. the beginning of the stage is, like, pretty short, and, uh. This is the uh, the number one reason why most people don't run Plague, uh, is because yeah. of boss rush. Yep, I did not get teleport skip. Uh, that is that is just a product of me not playing this game anymore. <laughs> I'll be real. So, uh, coming up this last little gauntlet, we've got some things that we're basically skipping everything. We want to make sure we skip the Jawas too, because but I got a decent end. Kind of flying over literally everything, so not too bad. I'm also going to be setting up my health for again, because a uh, boss rush means every boss, which means shovel. So yep. we'll be preparing for him for a good while. Fortunately, He's shovel knight is at the end, and yeah. but we do still have a staff lock for him, and that means you need to be at two health bubbles or below. So at the end, you need to be at two health bubbles or below, um, and taking. Uh, whatchamacallit, the flask we've had. You see that little number next to mine. I haven't had to take one, I think, yet. Um, but they're called flasks, um, and they give you one extra bubble of health. It's pretty slow to gather more than, like, one or two, and it's also slow to consume them. So you want to avoid that. Um, so that means you have to be, like, really optimal at boss rush. Yeah, they're, they're nice for, like, safety stuff, but generally you don't want to... Use them. Yeah, if you're if you're gonna try trying to go real fast, you'll notice I bought safety tonics. So I'm kind of assuming I'm gonna get bodied here. Yeah, I gathered them throughout the uh, the levels because you can get them just by uh, most turkey pots or most turkey. What the hell am I saying? Uh, most of the turkeys at the end of the level um, also have a flask in them. So if you keep getting those, you will eventually get five. And there's also a couple drops throughout levels that are pretty easy to get. So I'm coming in with six. Five health is technically the fastest going here with, but I'm only a little bit stupid. So yeah, we're, we're not doing that like we did uh, <laughs> during your uh, your last marathon at GDQ. Yeah. So here's Mole. A lot of the boss kills vary like a little bit because like we get to use staff for Mole, but uh, it's not that huge of a difference. So like we basically just killed him in the same spot anyway. 
Notice I'll be standing it like right in front of Tinker. That's intentional because Treasure can do a thing where he starts in a different spot when he uh, uh, basically comes into the fight. Yeah, when you're too and, close uh, to him, he will him start be... in a different location and it wastes like three, yeah. four seconds, which is stupid. Yeah, we want him to be right next to us. Unfortunately, he didn't come first. There's about a one in nine chance that he does that. But you can get pretty unlucky with that. So I'm just going to stay oh, in this come spot. On. I'm, get, little, I'm getting bullied by more. rats, dude. What the hell? Oh, man. I just got let. I now have eight health instead of ten. I now have uh, nine health instead of ten, or eight or seven health. Excuse me. All right. Uh, the health over here. There's three pots, um, and there's random stuff in them. They can have bombs, apples, carrots. Uh, I'm just gonna get the apple. Um, I don't want to die. <laughs> Even though I have five flasks, it's. Uh, I'd rather just have all the health I can get. Treasure's probably the biggest source of RNG in this entire boss rush. Maybe, I don't know, it's pretty big, it's pretty big. But fortunately he gave me good RNG, where he just stayed in the same place the whole time, so staff completely bodied him. But, uh, that's probably the biggest hurdle. Oh, I got the, the I got the good king. Nice then, job, uh, me. Yeah. The only I thing that... Well, there, that can be pretty tricky. The only, uh, part of the character. boss rush that isn't random is one character, or two characters older in and not uh, Plague Knight. You have, uh, oh, I almost died to spikes. Uh, you have Polar. Polar always spawns in the first three, uh, just because his instant kill spikes are still instant kill spikes. Um, and Shovel spawns last, um, because why not? Fortunately, I literally got my perfect boss rush, so I had to take an extra damage. So, but oh well. Better, better too much than too little. Yeah, <laughs> definitely better than too little. So finally coming on shovel. Uh, he's pretty tricky. Let's see if let's see if I nail him. Uh, I did not. Oh, you didn't get it. This uh... he's, uh, he's goofing off right now. So waiting for him to come and. Oh, I was again. as close to treasure as possible. One more pixel, and he would have been destroying me. What are you doing, Treasure? I'm I'm doing very poorly right now. I'll be honest. Uh, that's pretty typical with Shovel Knight. Um, <laughs> he's, yeah. he's a hard boss. Okay, I Loki have one tonic left, so oh, I've only taken that three damage. What the heck? I'm not allowed to do good. Oh uh, yeah, I had to use four tonics there, despite having like a near perfect boss rush. So that shows you how bad this fight is. But we got one one stage left, and uh, it's pretty dangerous, but uh, it's not as bad compared to this. But still gotta pay attention because some tricky stuff coming up. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you'll get you'll get, you get pretty destroyed if you're not paying attention. Oh, I, for, I forgot uh, you're invincible at the beginning of any every boss rush. Yeah. As you can see, I have a little too much health because I thought I was gonna do way worse at the boss fight or at the boss rush. Um. So what I need to do now is take damage, um, until I have less than two health bubbles. Which is why getting a turkey here is, like, very costly. Yeah. Turkeys are, uh, pretty big. You, you want to avoid the turkeys. Practice yeah. for long enough, they stop becoming a problem, but you still want to make sure that they stay out of your, uh, like... I'm gonna do a little damage boost here so I can get through these blocks. We're coming on the final stretch before the last three bosses. Don't fall in the pit like big old idiot because that would be bad. Let's see if I can get the SK lock here. No, <laughs> no, no, I can't. <laughs> right, so here's Enchantress. She can be pretty tricky. I practiced her a lot, so hopefully, I don't die to her twice in front of thousands of people. I picked it back up. I'm well, I didn't get the die kill, but I didn't also fall, so <laughs> that didn't happen. So I got the, uh, I got it, uh, I re-picked the kill back up, which is not very likely to happen. He, yeah. He, he, SK he, he, likes he to, like, a, bounce around a lot, so. Yeah, he has this epic hilarious thing where he'll stand, like, a million miles away from you and just throw stuff. 
that's <laughs> yeah. like not even close to you. So it's, it's a really, really good use of everybody's time. Yeah, it's it's pretty fantastic. And I had that for a little bit, but then somehow I got next to him and he didn't move. So I, I just hit him out of it. It worked out. Here's the Plague of Shadows. Uh, it's basically just Plague Knight, except a lot more blocks, and he's uh, pretty random, so you want to make sure you get him good. I, I think it also doesn't work. have, like, uh, procedurally generated stuff on the bottom, usually. Yeah, like, okay. In the real fight. I got a good kill there, because, like, basically what I want to do is I want to get him down to half health. By around that point, he starts to stand still and spawn a bunch of stuff. But if I stand in the corner with him and skin him with his staff, then he kind of dies pretty quickly, so. Yeah. Not great, but it up so oh, here we have, man, I almost died. have a legendary two cycle or, or i mean a legendary three cycle it'll probably be a legendary three cycle by me so don't yeah. worry if if no one can see it on your screen they're going to be able to see it on mine yeah i almost ran out of magic good oh good he he did that thing where he just flew away no. <laughs> the oh, legendary get, slow get, two cycle I, okay yeah baby <laughs> legendary three cycle that's time awesome <laughs> So, right with like a high 40, which is pretty darn good. Um, my PB is a low 40. Oh. I believe that only had one death and it was a very stupid death, so I feel kind of dumb about that. Uh, here's just the last cutscene of uh, people saying things. I don't really remember what they say, but they say things. Oh, well, let, let me let me. Uh, <laughs> I saved that boss so bad. I uh, I dipped down to try and kill Enchantress, but I didn't really get her on the money. She had two healths left, so uh, uh, I bomb stalled, and she like spawns a little platform on the bottom that hits you, but then you're stuck in the platform, and she comes by, so you can get the two hits and kill her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rock Club is pretty nice to like the speedrunning community, so they give them a little shout out when they have epic world records in the credits. So I yeah. got to be a part of that. Yeah, I'm a bread fan. No. The good runner he is in the credits. Uh, unfortunately, Pet Mimic percent and not in the Plague Night credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Credits. <laughs> unfortunately, Pet the Dog percent is not in the Plague of Shadows credits. <laughs> Alright, not having a good time with Plague Knight here. Right, so here's a the, the end screen. It's, uh, it's pretty good, the end screen. I could stare at it forever, but uh, I guess... Oh I'm, I'll wait what is going on with Plague here? Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go, this will be a 43. Bad time. Oh, very nice. But, uh, I can't say it's the worst I've ever done. Here we go. This is the corrupted instance. Uh, we'll see if I get a uh, a two cycle or a three cycle. I haven't had good luck with it uh, in the past two years. Nice job, me. I am so bad at video games. <laughs> <laughs> That's time. 4325 yeah. or something like that. Um, it wasn't good. Um, yeah. <laughs> GG's to me and Bren. And man, where did I lose all that time? Because we were like on the same level until boss rush. Yeah. Man, I must have uh, lost a lot in boss rush. Like, I've, I've practiced boss rush a lot. Yeah, I lost like, 40 seconds to I really lost 40 good. seconds to my PB time, which is 40 seconds behind Brett's time. Which so that's probably where most of the time dichotomy came from. Uh, yeah, that's 80 seconds. That's a minute 20. Um, but hey, that's all right. I had a lot of fun with the race. Um, yeah, that was pretty. Yeah, that was pretty. to the Shovel Knight community. They're about the great leads. Yep. I, and, I do uh, love the Shovel Knight community. Uh, 